All right, this one's going to be on setting up Samba. So we're going to use our uh, virtual box here. This one's running Linux Mint, uh, live CD, right? And I already downloaded the um, script here, but you can see that we have, what is that? Well, only three of them here. This one here, this one, and the configs here. So first thing we want to do is chmod uh, to set it up. So here, install Samba, and the other one is add new Samba user here. All right, so those two we need to have executable. So now you see it turns green and stuff like that. Uh, so what we do is to set up Samba, uh, we're gonna do sudo dot was a slash install Samba, and this one should detect your package manager and do like a a refresh of your repositories, and then it's gonna install Samba and then a few extra dependencies for the script like awk and stuff like that. Anyways, um, only test it out on two. Uh, you know type of distribution or base i'll say so it'll work on a ubuntu base i believe it should work on debian also um and an arch base so those are only two i tried it um as far as the other ones um i'll talk about more later on um on how you fix that if it's not the correct way anyways it installs you know samba and then we're gonna create a um was that a um save folder so where do you want to save it? I usually like to save it outside of the uh, home user because there's a lot of permission issues with that. You know, you have to log in as a certain user to do that. So I usually put it in media, uh, you know, and I'll usually call it uh, data. I always have like a, what was it, a partition called uh, data. So whatever your name is, uh, that's what you want to use. So for example, in this one, I want to use media slash was that data slash um samba we're gonna keep it simple we're gonna put everything lowercase no spaces and all, all that right so i'm gonna do that here and then what do you want your samba share uh you know name to be so this one we gonna call it batman uh smb <laughs> all right and then uh the guest user um, this one can only like read only, so it cannot do, you know, deleting or any of that. It can only read, right? And only a certain folder you can read. You cannot read like, uh, your normal user or your admin user, which we're going to create, uh, after this. But, uh, what do you want to call your guest user be? Some people like to call it guest. I like to call it visitor. This will be a little different. And you give it a password. Um, we'll call it one, two, three, four, whatever it is, right? Whatever password you want. And then we're gonna create a normal user. Uh, this one will have their own private uh, folder. So if you don't want to share it to uh, your guest user, you also have like a private folder you can do, All right? So we're gonna give this one uh, the name of Bruce. So that's the user, the normal user. And we're gonna give it a password, All right? And there we go. That's the normal user. Now this one's the admin user. The admin user has access to every folder uh, in the Samba share. All right. So any folder you can go to, you can go to a user folder, uh, a normal user folder. You can go to guest folder, and you can go to any administrator folder. All right. Anyways, uh, you can call it admin, whatever you want. I like to call it God mode. All right. So that's the username there. And I'm gonna give this one a password, and we gotta confirm the password again. And that's pretty much it. And it's going to do a, um, what is that? Uh, you know, start the system, D services, and then you can actually connect to it using, um, your Samba share IP and, or you can use like a Samba share name, which our name was Batman SMB. Sometimes this doesn't always work, especially if you're doing over uh, a virtual box here, it might not always work, but the IP for sure it will work. Right. So it's uh, 102, that's our IP, okay. Anyways, we'll try it both just to see if it works. So this is my uh, real computer here. I'm gonna open our file manager and we're gonna do this as a uh, network. Like if it doesn't show up in here, usually it will say like, you know, Batman SMB or something like that. But I don't know, sometimes it doesn't work when you're doing it over, um, you know, VirtualBox or something like that. But anyways, we're gonna do SMB and we'll try that Batman one first, all right? We'll do it by name first, see if it works. 
so it seems like it's not loading but let's say we go to the IP instead which was 102 right let me see here 1681.102 and 102 it shows up right there right um, so we have our three user so first of all is Bruce that's the one we created for our normal user and our uh, god mode is our admin account and our guest account is I just created a folder called everyone so it's not called guest it's called everyone so everyone can access it right so if I want to log in to uh, this folder I can use uh, our visitor actually we'll do um, the uh, the admin first so we can create some folders so we do uh, god mode here all right uh, and we're gonna type in our password. Did I just type it right? Let me see here. Connect. No, I typed it wrong. Uh, God mode. There we go. So now I can connect to uh, that share folder, and I can create stuff in here because I'm an admin. You know, I can create a new folder. Inside the folder, I can create uh, a bunch of files or whatever it is right and there we go now if I log out let's say I uh, disconnect from here and we'll go back and we gotta refresh this here so if I go in there again and now I'm a visitor let's say I log in as a visitor or a guest user I mean and what did it call what was our guest user I think it was one two three four right there you go now, if I go in here and I try to, let's say, uh, delete this thing here, right? Uh, I do not have access to delete anything, right? And I also cannot create uh, a new folder or anything like that either, right? So, because we're a guest user, we can only view stuff, right? Um, anything else here? So, same thing with the um, normal user, aka Bruce here. He can go in here and... Uh, let's say uh, Bruce. What the hell is the password for Bruce? I don't remember. There you go. That's the password. So Bruce in here, he can go in there and he can delete stuff too if he wanted to. All right, because he has access to that. But uh, the only user that cannot have access to read and write is uh, the guest user. So there you go. That's how you do that. Uh, anything else I need to say in here? So Bruce, he can access all the other folders. Uh, actually, not the other folders. Just uh, everyone and himself, right? And he cannot access the admin account, which is uh, God mode here. So let's say, for example, if I try to, you know, log into the admin uh, user here with Bruce, it will not work. So we do Bruce, and we go down. And we type in our password here, right? It would just you know kick us out. It will not let us log in. So that's how that works. Now, if you want to add another user, uh, another normal user, um, let's go back in here. That was that's what the other script is for. Um, adding a new user, uh, mainly a normal user that is. So we're gonna do a uh, sudo add uh, new samba user here. All right, so this one will tell us where do you want, you know, where's the save folder. So we're going to put the same one here. Uh, data, Samba. All right. And we're going to create a, another user. This one we'll call it Thomas. How about that? And what is Thomas? ASDF, whatever. All right, so now we have Thomas, and it'll be the same place. Uh, our Samba share so we'll refresh that here from our list and hopefully we should have a new user there you go Thomas right and Thomas can access to himself and everyone but he cannot access Bruce or you know our administrator any of that so that's how that works um, so mainly you know you, you can create another normal user um, I really didn't want to create another guest user or another admin account because you, you basically just need one for those only depending on what you do but I'm doing this from home I'm not doing it as a uh, an office environment 
But if you're doing an offense environment, this one it would be good too because uh, let me give credit to that guy. He he made a, a really good guy that uh, that I based his script off of. Oh, where was that guy? Uh, let's do smaller here. What's his name? Mr. Elliot Cooper. This guy was really methodical. Uh, I used it most of his guide. I add another group though. That's the only difference I did in here, because I wanted like a guest uh, user, but with an account, mainly because um, when you're doing like Android apps or some of these very old apps, they don't allow you to log in as like anonymous. Um, so that's why I created another group. And I mainly use this for like, you know, Cody boxes and stuff like that. Um, so that's how you set it up really easy. You know, you can share stuff and you can connect this to a, uh, a Cody box, I said, or an Amazon Fire Stick, whatever it is. And you can access your movies, your files, whatever it is. And um, have it set up real quick. It's not that hard in here. You know, um, what was that? Uh, so if you want to transfer files to here, basically you log into a valid user, anything like your admin account or whatever it is, and you should be able to transfer files to here, to your server, All right? So let's say, for example, do we have another thing in here? Um, so let's say, for example, I want to transfer some of these, uh, you know, files here or movies, whatever it is. You can put it, put it in here and share it to everyone and anyone that has access to it, like your guest user, and they'll be able to access those photos or movies or whatever it is. Um, anyways, that's my little script to set up, um, you know, um, Samba share, because that's one of those things that I don't like to remember how to do because this is annoying. And the thing is, um, I only test this out on... What is that? Uh, two distributions, Linux Mint and what's the other one? Endeavor OS, which is Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu, which is Ubuntu is based on like Debian. So any of the Debian family will should work. And as far as uh, you know, the other one is like Pac-Man, so it can use on any Arch system. Uh, if you're using like um, Gen 2 or Fedora or something like that I haven't tried those. So the only thing you need concern about is the package name. So, you know, whatever it is called, it should be called Samba. And the other ones that Core Util said and Oc, uh, that's basically all this script uses anyways. Um, and the other thing you need to concern about is that um, the uh, system D name, I don't know why they keep changing it. So on um, on any like Debian base, it's kind of called like, what's that? Uh, NMBD services and if you're using like an arch system it's just gonna be called NMB that's it there's no D in it so it's kind of weird but it should automatically detect it if you're using those two distributions like I said uh, if you use something else like a Fedora or something like that I don't, I don't know what it's called I'm assuming it's gonna call NMB dot services uh, or SMB dot services um, but if it's not, all you gotta do is just change the script to match whatever system you're using. Anywho, that's how I set up Samba share nowadays really quick, you know, and this is like the default configs that it's going to use. So if you want to add any more stuff in here, it's up to you. And if you don't want your user to be browsable, like if you don't want your photos to show up, you can put this as browsable to no, right? Then it will not show up on your, um, you know, um, looking for your network, um, share, right? Anywho, that's it for this one. Uh, link will be in the description for, I should post this on GitHub and all that. That'll be for this one.